What's up? What's up? What's up? We gonna be reacting to the songs I've dropped over the past two days. Breaking records. I dropped like I don't even know. But I'm, I'm doing a song for every chapter of the Bible. And right now, it's looking like a W, right? Subscribers going up. Views going crazy. Music sounding brazy. Can you amen? And like I said, subscribers and views don't matter. But uh, I got this big old bait, bold speaker here. And it's Sunday night. 11.46 p.m. I won't be too loud because I know people got school tomorrow. I got school tomorrow too, but it's online. Thank you, Jesus. So I ain't got to go to bed early. But I ain't going to try to be too loud, but y'all going to be able to hear it, right? Um, I, bro, I remixed <laughs> I remixed almost all of Astro World. I remixed almost you you gonna see so many songs like like young bands, Tony Savage, Metro Boomin, Travis Scott, Drake, Trippy Red, Tyler the Creator. It's like bro, and we just started, right? I got some Kanye in there, some Y W Y Y B M Nine Y W Millie, everybody you can think of, right? And and it's just the beginning. We only like 125 songs in right now. Well, really, like we like 3,000 songs in. But on this album that I'm dropping, we like 125 in. They call me Record Breaker. <laughs> they, they, call me, they call me the hottest, right? Y'all think Astro World was hype? Y'all remember how hype Astro World was? Like, like how much hype was behind Astro World? And y'all remember how much hype was behind a whole lot of red? That that was back before I had Jesus though. But y'all remember? <laughs> well, listen to me. This gonna be hyper than the, way hyper than those, bro. Cause nobody done nothing like this, bro. I I know the Bible says nothing is new under the sun, but this is a uh, right. But this is still nuts, right? This is like what the heck. Now listen, we gonna start with the one, the most recent song I've dropped, and we're gonna go through all the way to the to the one I dropped to the to when I first started dropping this album. I think it was two days ago. We probably got we got a fair amount of songs. We might not do all of it. I'm gonna see. And just, just FYI, this speaker makes the bass louder than it actually is. So if it's hard to hear my voice in some songs, it's the speaker. It's not, it's not how the song actually sounds. The speaker is supposed to be like that, right? Y'all ready? We got track number one, John One, Christian Remix of Butterfly Effect. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't take this, bro. Are right, y'all ready? This is like, this is insane, bro. John chapter one, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, so absurd. The word was divine, full of grace, and in him all things had to place. Now, the thing about this album, the songs are shorter than usual. Not all of them. There's some, there, there's some that are long. But I try to make them not too long, right? It's a new, it's a new formula. But it, 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 it's actually genius. And it wasn't even my idea. 
<clears throat> all this is not my idea. This is idea from Jesus, right? All these ideas is from God. I promise you. Remember, I've tried to make music I, since I was 14, bro. And all of a sudden, when I started doing it for Jesus, I started getting subscribers, views, and the music sounds good. <laughs> what do you think that is, right? And all these new ideas, right? That's Jesus, right? It ain't me. All right, Romans chapter 16, Christian remix of Travis Scott, Can't Say. I don't even know if I should tell y'all what song it is. Because a lot of people who are Christian who listen to these are not going to know what the original song was. Because they're going to be like, I don't listen to Travis Scott. Now, hopefully, there's some people who are like me and live most of their life listening to devil music. <laughs> so, they, so, so this album is going to be special for them, right? And maybe this album might bring somebody who worked in, who, who, who listening to devil music and make them start listening to Christian music. You don't know what guy gonna do with it, right? But here we go. God bless this song, my man. Romans chapter 16, Creators in the Spirit. In the word of the Lord, we find unity. Our sisterly bond, steadfast in humility. Phoebe, servant of the church, so true. Frisk of other cool, working hand in hand, through and through. Oh, grace in the spirit, love and feed. Faithful disciples, their hearts been chained. To the gospel of grace, hit a message proclaim. Let your voices hide in his holy name. Grief and drunk, kissing Jews near. Lord, in the faith of apostles, team that liberate and please. Now you gotta understand, I'm wrapping each chapter of the Bible. So if you're listening to it, you're like, what is he talking about? Really try to listen to what I'm saying, right? And that will make it even harder, because you're gonna realize, oh shoot, they do actually wrapping each chapter of the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not just talking about having a threesome with, with two prostitutes, right? Or, or, or going to a brothel. And, and almost OD like some other dude we know, right? On Sunday. We're not talking about that, right? Alright, this is Romans 15, Christian remix of Travis Scott Carousel. <laughs> as you can tell, um, what's neat about this too is as you as I go through it, you're gonna see that I kind of have a lot of people in a row. So so a section of it is gonna be like, oh, this is the Travis Scott section, and it's gonna be like, oh, this is the Trippy Red section, and it's gonna be like, oh, this is the, the uh, Kanye section, or this, is... right? Now now there's some songs that are like just randomly put in there, like I might have a Kanye song in the middle of the Travis Scott section or something, right? But usually it, it, it's like the same, you're going to hear the same artist that I remixed for a couple of songs, right? Again, not my idea. This is Jesus, right? Yo, listen up. Let me spit some truth. Romans 15, got the spiritual juice. Grace and peace overflow, never confuse. Unity and love, that's what we choose. Listen to me. Listen to me. Romans 15, oh, yeah. Yeah, Romans 15, oh, yeah. Romans 15, oh, yeah. Romans 15, oh, yeah. All the common knowledge, where it's so divine, building no religious time. That's my soul at a time. Yeah, uh, there's a peace, but it reigns supreme. Uh, 
You know what's dope? Like, I like it. I'm not from the hood. Now, my dad is. My dad from the Bronx, but I'm not from the hood, right? So I kind of, like, learned how to, like, like I can, if, if I wanted to, like, talk like Barack Obama, I could try to, right, put on a professional. What I'm trying to say is, I don't have, like, a, like, you know how Gucci Mane talk? <laughs> you can tell, like, right? But I kind of, like, don't talk, like, I kind of, like, talk like I went to private school a little bit. And you know what's interesting? In my opinion, it makes, like, if you rap, I don't know. I just think my voice sounds really good for rap music. Like the same way Drake, like he don't talk like he Gucci, like like Gucci man, you know? That that dude, right? But he the number one rapper, right? I just feel like like I don't know. Y'all know what I'm saying, bro? I don't know, bro. Now I know people don't think Drake is. A lot of people don't think Drake is the best. I don't think he's the best. I think I'm the best. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, I don't I don't talk like. I just talk the way I talk. I just think my voice, that's what I'm trying to say. I, I think my voice is good on the beat. And I'm not from the hood. Right? Now I got some partners from the hood. <laughs> no, I'm glad. 114, right? I did Romans 14, Christian remix of Travis Scott. Coffee Bean. Y'all ready? Let's go. Cool. 
Romans chapter 13, it speaks truth to my soul. Guidance from above, helping me to be whole. Authority on love, and decline like lace. Teaching us to walk in faith, running this race. Okay. We are conquerors of love, stand strong in grace. Conquerors of love, shine no light in this place. Burn the armor of righteousness, never to falter. Conquerors of love, God of love. Okay, I can, I can like, I can like turn up, I can like turn up to it. I'm not praising myself. I can like do a little dance, right? That ain't like, is that praising myself because I dance to the, to the song? Come on, y'all. Yeah. I don't think Jesus would have a problem with me dancing to my own song, right? <laughs> I'm not going to say whether that was good or not, because I ain't trying to praise myself. I'm going to let another man's lips do it, or another woman's lips. <laughs> that sounded sexual. It wasn't supposed to be sexual. Unless it's my future wife. Then, <laughs> anyway, Romans, the key PG, right? Romans 12. <laughs> Romans 12. This is Romans 12. Christian remix of Tyler Scott Mafia. Now, you see, it sounded like I was just doing Astro World, right? But Mafia is not in Astro World. If you, if you used to listen to secular music, this probably don't cast people off guard, right? Because they're probably thinking I'm just going through Astro World. And then I throw this in there, they're going to be like, what the? Y'all ready? <laughs> Romans chapter 12, ain't no need to dwell on the troubles of this world, just gotta excel, don't go from this world, nah, nah, hold tight, put kiss from your mind, yeah, and that really light, nah, you need your mind that shines so bright, nah, yeah, 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 I'm not going to say whether that was good or not. Because I ain't trying to praise myself, right? You never know. Maybe I didn't like it. Now, I think you can guess. I don't think I'd post a song anyways. That was that. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about it. That was that. Um, what's interesting is because uh, I'm going to give you commentary because it's my music, right? I can give you com That's all I can give you. I can give you commentary, right? I ain't gonna just sit here and praise myself. But I'm gonna give you commentary, real commentary, behind the scenes, talking about how I was making this, all this stuff, right? These songs that like these, this section of it, the flow is very like I like uh, it's it's a it's a different type of flow I'm doing. And I haven't posted none of the singing ones yet. So these are all gonna be just rap, right? Um,
but yeah, you, you're gonna see how, how I start changing the flow. Really, really every song has a different flow. So I don't know what I'm talking about, but just pay attention to the flow. <laughs> Do I gotta say flow again? Romans 11, Christian remakes of Travis Scott, R.I.P. School. Oh, y'all know. My man, thank you, Jesus. We ain't talking about Romans chapter 11, where grace and mercy meets us like a gentle wind. Once lost, but now found. We've been grafted in. I've picked this tear, but I will again. Remnant revival, chosen and loved. Called to shine bright, grace to the bone. God's promises, unbreakable and true. His mercy, grace, let it flow and renew. Don't boast against the bridge that fell. For God's mercy, they can be as true as well. I'm telling you, bro, I ain't gonna lie. 
when I started doing Travis Scott's beats, <laughs> every single Travis Scott beat I've done, bro, I'm like, this is a cheat code, bro. Literally. Even when I did one of his songs like a month ago, Antidote, I'm like, wait a second, I ain't got to say nothing on this. Now, I am saying something, right? That's why you need to listen. But I'm like, this dude, <laughs> now like I said, don't, I'm not encouraging you to listen to his music, right? Because you go, <laughs> y'all know what he be talking about, right? I used to listen to that, right? But right, his beat though, oh man, that's why I'm using it, right? Now, like I said, I'm, I'm really using everybody's beats. Everybody, every good song I used to listen to, I'm gonna try to hit it. I'm gonna try to remix it. Like I said, nobody's really done that. We ain't gonna praise myself though, right? We're not gonna do that. The Bible just said, the Bible said we'll do that, right? All right, so we on uh, Romans 9, Christian remix of Travis Scott, Watch, featuring Lily DeVert and Kanye West. Now, that's not on Astro World either. But if you listen to it, it kind of sounds like it should have been. So I don't know what that was about. I think he just didn't put it on Astro World. It don't matter what he did. It matters what I'm doing on it, right? Here we go. Now I didn't. I didn't mean that. I, I, I ain't trying to act like he don't matter. I'm just saying, right? This video is about what I'm doing, right? Are y'all ready? <laughs> Now, what's, what's deep is, I think it's also a cheat code to do short songs. And, and to be honest, with all this TikTok, Vine, all the, you remember Vine? Remember when Vine came out? It was six seconds. And ever since then, it seems like everybody wants short stuff. So, the fact that I'm doing this, first of all, thank you, Jesus, right? Because like I said, this was not my idea. I just stumbled across it again as I stumbled across everything else that I have success with that's not my idea because it's God directing my steps, right? We ain't got to pull up that verse. <laughs> Y'all know that verse. And I don't know who needed to hear that, but if God gonna direct your steps. <laughs> so don't try, don't be trying to control it be yourself. I might have just been talking to myself, right? Anyway, Romans 8. This chapter is probably my favorite chapter in the Bible. Like my favorite chapter ever. Like if you told me, Corey, I like Romans chapter 8. That's what I'm gonna say. I like it. So this is Christian remix of Travis Scott, Yo's Mike. <laughs> you see the beat Jesus chose to use for this chapter, bro? Like I said, this was all random, right? I just had a bunch of beats, and then I and then I, it it just was random. Every every beat I chose for each song was random, right? Jesus said we're gonna use the Yo's Mike beat. Y'all know about this one, right? Y'all ready? <laughs> Walking in the spirit, not of flesh. Romans chapter 8 is the ultimate test. No condemnation, no guilt, no shame. In Christ Jesus, yeah, we're free from pain. I, I, reading the Romans, the Holy Spirit of life. I, I, no more bondage, yeah. I, and I'm strength, right? Reading the Romans from death to life, yeah. In this victory, yeah. We, we rise, yeah.
Now, honestly, I take that back. I'm not saying this beat is better than other beats. And also, I'm not saying Romans 8 is better than <laughs> other parts of the Bible. Because I ain't trying to rank the Bible <clears throat> that is not right. But for me, at least, I like Romans 8. Now, what's deep is, nah, let me just go to the next one. Let's see if I can, <laughs> I mean, do I think everybody's going to think that every song I do is going to be good? No. I don't think I've ever listened to any artist, ever, and like every single one of their songs, right? So if you sitting there and you like, oh, I didn't like that one, you trash. Well then, try to listen to the other 2,999, right? Yeah, I'll give you 2,999 other options. <laughs> so, right? Now, I try not to put out a song that I don't think is good, right? Why would I do that? And if I, and what's deep is, if I put it out and I'm like, over time, I'm like, I don't even know, I still like this. I'll, I'll cut it short. I'll make it only like 15 seconds and choose the best part of the song. Now, should I do that? I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting in my own head. But that's why I try to make every song right. All right, next one we're gonna do um, Romans 7. Christian remix of Travis Scott, Wake Up. We're still on Travis right now, right? But this is the last Travis one we're gonna do for a while, right? Um, but y'all know this song, right? Y'all probably do if you listen to secular music. I lost care, missing rest, I would think. Pull the trigger of the flesh, I'm fighting the bands. I know that it be, that is in my flesh. No good team, well, this is a mess. The desire to care is present me. But I perform it, I can't see it. Oh, Y'all see how I'm fading it out too? Not my idea, again. Idea from Jesus. All right, next song, Romans 6. Christian remix of <laughs> Trippy Red. Yes, we remix Trippy Red on a Christian song. Like I said, I'm different. You probably didn't think anybody was going to do that. Oh, it gets more interesting. Let me tell you. Let me not say interesting, but it gets more even absurd than, I don't even know what to call it. But if you think Remix of Trippy Red is like, oh, what the heck? That's, that's crazy for a Christian song. If you see the other people I did too. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with that because I'm just using a beat, right? Can I get anything? Oh yeah, this is a Betrayal. Christian remix of Trippy Red Betrayal featuring Drake and it's Romans chapter six, right? Yeah, Romans chapter six. Freedom reigns, walking in grace, no longer slaves. By his love and mercy, we're saved. Pray with him in the waters deep. No life rising, no longer sleep. Freedom reigns in Christ and all death and fears in the calm. Now we live in victory in him, we're free. Crucified with him, now blood alive. Unto Christ is we strive. Thank you. 
Somebody said, I'm going to remix a song. You're going to probably think they're going to try to make it similar to the original song, right? Maybe use the same flow. Maybe use some of the same lyrics. Maybe use some of the same melodies. But no, 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 no. I'm treating these remixes like I'm getting a whole new beat. Right? That's why this is nuts too. Cause it sounds like a whole different song, bro. Again, not my idea. <laughs> and not my gift, like it's my gift, but that's hard, bro. Cause mo I feel like if you try to make a Christian remix, of a, of a song you that that's used you like it's gonna be hard not to like do it the way that you know the song to be by I don't know what I'm y'all get what I'm saying bro anyways this is Romans 5 Christian remix of Trippy Red Pose 1469 <laughs> featuring Takashi69 yes I Christian remix a Takashi 69 song and this is not the only one you gonna see it in a sec. I don't wanna spoil it, right? But it had to be done. Right? It didn't have to, but I feel like God wanted it to be done, right? Anyways, y'all ready? Yo, oh man, yo. In chapter five of Romans, we find the peace of God that transcends the mind <laughs> through Jesus Christ our sins erased by his blood we all grace grace so bounds grace so bounds and the love that knows no bounds through faith turn and hope rise in Christ all also baptize also baptize so release and don't strong careful trials prolong hope is not disappointed understand what I'm doing with these tracks. I have songs where I have like a chorus, a couple verses, and it's like structured like that. But these are just like straight verses, bro. I might I might repeat a couple words or a couple lines. But you gotta treat these songs like like verses. Cause they're short. I'm I'm not repeating myself a lot. So it's really about what I'm saying and how I'm flowing, right? Just like Caleb Boyd said. He said, uh, "Ain't no," he said, "Ain't no hook on this chillin' just nine. I can beef with General Zai, but I know that my general guy." <laughs> He said, ain't no hook on this, chillin' just not. As in, right? That's the type of thing I'm doing, right? Ain't no hook on it, right? It kind of reminds me of like some Kendrick Lamar stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like Kendrick Lamar has hooks sometimes, 
But when you listen to his music, when I used to listen to it, it was really about what he was saying and how he was flowing, right? As compared to somebody like Drake or something, to where you're just trying, right? To where there's a good hook, nice melodies, right? Maybe y'all get what I'm saying. And like I said, I do have songs like that, to where there's a nice hook, nice melodies and stuff. But this is just straight like I'm being a rapper, rapper right now. You know what I'm saying? Rapper, rapper. All right, Romans 4. This is Christian remix of Trippy Red Supercell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, from Dragon Ball Z, yeah. No shadow for a reason now. All the days, ancient streets, where the past and future meet. Found a way of history, boss a new discovery, hey. Also a new discovery, yeah. Breaks on down, it sets the street. Oh, oh what a sight for all I see. It's not how we get them by faith, we're forgiven by faith, we're forgiven by the sun, we're forgiven. Abraham believed it was a counting to him. His faith in God never grown dim. Just a fight, not my worries, but a fight. Short song. On to the next one, right? And what's deep about this is this is almost like we're reading the Bible, but in song form. This is why I can sit here and do this. And I feel like I'm wasting time. Because it's almost like I'm just going through the Bible. <laughs> and I feel like this is going to help people who don't like really reading. You know how like, like some people love Jesus, but they like, they like, they don't really like reading that much. That's like me. Like, I don't really like reading that much. But I love Jesus, right? You know what I'm saying? So I don't be in the Bible as much as I need to be. But guess what? Now that we got this, now that I'm making this, right? Oh, I'm going to be basically in the Bible all almost most of the day. Because now we got a damn super sale, trippy red instrumental behind Romans 4. Can you amen? You see how God is using me? He using me, bro. Y'all can't, y'all can't say, y'all can't say that, bro. Stop playing. Come on, y'all see this, bro? This is deeper than you think. So even if you don't like the song, right? And you hate it. This is, this is bigger than you. Just like the Migos said. This, they say this, woo, bigger than you. Now we ain't gonna curse. But this, woo, is bigger than you. <laughs> right? This, that's where, now we, are, we ain't gonna curse, right? But it's bigger than you. This for Jesus, right? Shoot. All right, Romans 3. This is a Christian remix of Trippy Red today featuring Uno the Activist. Yes, we Christian remix him too. Uh huh. Romans 3, let me break it down. Pause, let it kill Romans. It's profound. All I've seen, no one's immune. But through faith in Christ, we found our avenue. Oh, oh, God's righteousness, bro. Feel so clear. Jesus Christ, we have no fear, justified freely by His grace. Through faith alone, yeah, we find our place. Through faith alone, yeah, we find our place. Christ redemption by His blood. No boasting in ourselves, for all have fallen short. But through faith in Christ, we find our hope for sure. We find our hope justified by His grace. The ultimate. favorite beats ever. Yeah. It's just the ding, 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 ding. It sounds like Christmas or something, right? That thing. 
Again, not praising myself, because that's not my beat, right? So I can, I can do that, right? I'm like, dang, this thing, I can listen to that thing all day. Hey, just put the beat on, and just sit back and close your eyes. No, I'm playing. <laughs> yeah. But that was that. Um, I turned it down a little bit, and I'm going to try not to talk as loud, because it's 1230, and I don't want to be the dude who's keeping everybody up <laughs> in the building, right? Now, the person who lives right next to me, if they hear it, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you try to sleep, you just go out of the way a little bit. Uh... <laughs> I got to get this video out, right? Now, like I said, hopefully they, I don't know. <laughs> you never know what's going on. They might be sound asleep. You never know what's going on, right? Nobody might even, hey, maybe nobody can even hear me, right? They got there's a whole door over there. People got their doors shut. They might have their headphones in. You never know what people be doing, right? You know what I'm saying? So we just gonna act like, <laughs> like I said, I did turn it down though. And I'm, I'm not, and I'm gonna try to, uh, matter of fact, we're gonna do this. So that I don't gotta talk across the room. We're gonna do this. We're gonna, do, ooh, what, ooh. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Uh, this is better. Yeah. All right, Romans 2. Christian remix of Tyler the Creator, Juggernaut. Yeah, we, we doing Tyler the Creator now. Uh-oh. His beats are also kind of Chico, right? But Travis Scott's, in my opinion, they just kind of, I just, I just, everybody's beats are good in their own way, right? Everybody. Everybody beats good in their own way, right? Because it's a singing song, and I'm gonna drop all the singing songs at the end. And that's probably gonna catch people off guard, because they're gonna be listening, because there's people listening to these as we speak. And like, they probably like this dude rapping on every song, and, they, and, and people who are new to the channel might think, like, oh, he just one of them dudes, he just a rapper, even though <laughs> I'm still nasty, right? In my opinion, right? actually, you don't praise yourself. Maybe I'm trash, right? But um, they're going to be like, he just rapping, rapping. And then when I drop the single ones, they're going to be like, oh my goodness. <laughs> they do, right? <laughs> they do sing too. Now, all they, ha all they had to do was just go to my other song that I posted before this. And I got a bunch of single ones. But you know... I don't expect people to listen to every one of my songs, right? All 3,000? Like, come on now. 3,000? Now, I don't think I got... I think right now I got like... 
1400 of just like songs that like are just me. And like I said, I don't got features on none of these. <laughs> I don't got features on none. I'm not praising myself. I'm just telling you there's no features on none of this, right? I'm just, I'm just putting that out there, right? This is Hebrews 12, Christian remix of Tyler the Creator, Lemonhead. Y'all ready? Again, 44 seconds is genius. Thank you, genius, right? I feel like if all of these were like four minutes, people would already kind of be like tired of it. But no, 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 no. We're going to switch the beat up every 40 seconds, basically. You see how Jesus gave me the perfect ideas? And low key. There's so much more that makes doing this a good idea. I can't even fathom it right now. But just know, it's working. <laughs> just like Caleb Gore said. Why do I follow God? Because it's working. That's one big reason, boy. If it wasn't working, right, I would have been quick, right? But it's working. And guess what? You can sit there with zero dollars in your bank account or negative, zero food in the fridge, and be homeless. And guess what? It'd still be working. That's that's too deep for some of y'all, right? That's too deep. Oh, that was too deep. That was too deep. I'm sorry. All right, this is <laughs> this is Hebrews 11, another one of my favorite chapters. My pastor calls this the Hall of Faith. Not the Hall of Fame. No, 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 no. Hall of Faith, right? If you read a lot of Bible, you, you, you know about this chapter, right? Um, this is the Christian remix of Tyler the Creator, Lumberjack. <laughs> right? Yeah, we're going through Tyler right now, right? This is a Sometimes, sometimes it feels weird to hear my own voice. Like, like there was a period of time where I was just only doing slowed reverb and ate the audio songs. And I think it's because I was getting insecure about my voice, bro. Like, I can't imagine how this, hear, how this sounds to somebody who's not me. Which is, good, which is why it's good to have another person critique your music. And that doesn't mean that what they say just automatically do make that like the main. Like ask a couple, right? Ask a lot of people, right? Ask ask a couple people. Be like, what you think it is, right? If they say it's trash, don't get discouraged and give up. If they say it's good, don't get your head too big and stop trying to get better, right? I showed these to this one dude I know. He said it was good. <laughs> right? So we good, right? Because I thought it was... 
I ain't gonna praise myself, right? But I thought it was right. So I just needed one other person. And, and guess what? If you would have said this ain't it, because guess what? He sent me his song, and I told him this ain't it. I said, I ain't really like it. So right, he had a full opportunity to say the same thing for my song if he really thought it wasn't right. But no, he said it was good. So I said, cool. And like I said, there's people who like it. Um, people, people on YouTube liking it too, right? So it looks like we good, right? All right, this is Hebrews 10. Christian remix of Tyler the Creator. What's your name? Oh, I was feeling this one. Cause I seen this one girl, right? I was like, I'm gonna be like, what's your name? By checking it out. <laughs> I checked it out, I did, bro. I don't know what it is, bro. But I have full faith and believe that the one who's for me is gonna be for me, right? And God, God gonna get it to me, right? Whoever it is, right? Just like the Bible say, it ain't my bow and arrow, it ain't my sword, right? No, 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 no. It ain't my bow and arrow, no, it's the power of Jesus, right? It says in the Bible, a prudent wife is from the Lord, from him. Now that don't mean just sit on the couch Eat potato chips and be like, well, if it's from the Lord, <laughs> then she gonna knock on my door, right? You see how I rhymed? I didn't mean to, right? It's a gift. No, I'm joking. Listen. Don't be sick, right? Maybe she will knock on your door, right? But I don't, right? Don't bet, don't bank on it, right? Don't bank it. That's like, that's like, right? That's like trying to, y'all, no, we ain't getting this deep. Anyway, this is what's your name, right? Hebrews 10. Y'all ready? Yo, yo, listen to me, y'all, let me break it down. Hebrews chapter 10. like how it fades out that's hard anyways did you hear that dude in the back of the uh, of the beat he was like yes yeah i just realized um now nah, i don't think he was saying nothing bad right but what's deep is there's some songs i can't do like the way too sexy song by drake and future again i, I used to that was like i was like a year before i repented and came to christ right so i so y'all know i was listening to that Certified Lover Boy and that Donda when they dropped. Now I'm pretty sure Donda was supposed to be a Christian album. Um but Certified Lover Boy wasn't <laughs> right as you can see by that song, that way too sexy song, bro. It literally had porn porn in the beat. It had, it had girls moaning in the beat. Y'all if y'all know that song, y'all know what I'm talking about. We can't do we can't remix that. I ain't gonna have no porn in my beat, right? <laughs> and guess what? He might, they might think that they, they might have got money for doing that. But guess what? The only person they damaging is himself. Is they self, right? And that's that's down to who that was for. But if you if you try to do some wicked stuff, you are gonna damage yourself. 
You might think it's all fun and game, but you damaging yourself. That's that's one of the biggest things I've learned, bro. Cause cause sometimes when when life is hard, I feel like your flesh wants to sometimes run to things that you used to do to cope. So whether that was uh, masturbation or like drugs now or like fornication or like whatever your thing is gossip um social media overuse um being mean to people whatever right but the only person you damage when you do that is yourself but in a moment you might you, the devil might deceive you and, you, and your and your flesh might be making you forget. I don't know how to explain. Y'all know what I'm saying, bro. It ain't good, but some some reason your mind sometimes forgets it ain't good for you. This is um, Hebrews nine. Christian remix of Ug of Ugly God Water. Now, if y'all remember Ugly God, <laughs> I don't know if he's still popping, but I'm doing songs that I that I used to listen to before I had Jesus. So that goes all the way back to like 2016, even before that. I'm doing everything, right? E everything before 2021, or let me say before 2022. Everything before 2022. That that I that I used to listen to, I'm remixing, right? So this came out I'm pretty sure a little. It's, it's some people will consider it an old song. It's not that old, right? But it's Hebrews nine, Ugly God, Water Christian remix. Y'all ready? And we gonna we gonna split this, split this up into two videos. Cause I'm getting kind of tired. To be honest, right? So this might be the last one, right? Y'all ready? He was just mine, let me break it down for you. The high priest, the holy place is so true. Blood of goats and cows could never truly say, but the blood of Christ, the ultimate way. Blood covered in red, this is so divine, covering my sins. That's going to be it, y'all. I would do more, but I feel like I'm being a bad neighbor. <laughs> Bro, I wish I had my own house. I could just be like, boom, at like four in the morning, right? Up like an insomniac. Oh, yeah, we did that. We're going to do that song, too, for sure. Yeah, we're going to Chris remix that song, too. Anyways. Again, before I end the video, if it was hard to hear my voice, the speaker I'm using makes the bass sound way louder than the rest of the song. <laughs> That's literally the type of speaker, right? So don't think that uh, that the quality is boo-boo. That's not how it sounds when you listen to it on your phone or, or in the car or pretty much any other speaker that ain't this one. <laughs> but I like this one. Because I'm a bass type of dude. You know I'm all about that bass. About that bass. Don't try. <laughs> Y'all remember that? 
<laughs> you know, I'm all about the bass. And like I said, we don't know if she was talking about bass as in booty. I don't want to think about that, right? Because I'm waiting for my wife. <laughs> so it would be best for me not to even talk about nothing along the lines of that. Uh, I love y'all. Hopefully, uh, when I drop this video, you going to enjoy it. Because I'm going to put cool edits on it, filters. I'm going to make the audio good. And um, hopefully this will be like a good little commentary video of, of the first part of the songs that I chose to react to. Um, pray for me. I need it. I need prayers. The devil been trying to mess with my head. But y'all know, God always prevails. So no matter what the devil try, it's going to work together for my good. Can you amen? And God had things for me to do before I even came into this earth. Right? That's what, that's what gives, that's one of the things that, that, take, that takes the pressure off myself. That, that helps me take the pressure off myself. I'm like, I'm, I'm a vessel, bro. And God had things for me to do before I came. All I got to do is try my hardest, stay faithful, and God's going to do, he going to produce, right? He going to help me bear the fruit. It ain't going to be me and my own strength. Again, it's not my bow and arrow. Not my sword, right? Shout out Psalms. It ain't my, it ain't, it ain't my, right? No, no, no. It's God who gives gives me the victory, bro. And that's with everything, right? Pray that I don't. Let me stop. Y'all know what I was about to say. And if you're thinking of something, it probably wasn't that. Just don't worry about it. I'm probably going to edit this out. I love y'all. Let God use you, bro. Because at the end of the day, what else you going to do with your life? If it ain't God's will, what else you going to do? Your will? You know, you know where my will took me when I was trying to do things my way? It took me in rehab. It took me... Uh, should have been dead, in jail, it, still in rehab, or all the above, right? Definitely dead, though. Should have been dead. Should have been in jail. Should have been, yeah, all the above, right? Um, but you see how he using me now, right? You gotta give it up. Give your life up, bro. Living sacrifice. It's only right. Your way is not it. So if you watching this at night, maybe tonight you shouldn't you shouldn't open up the maybe tonight just just take a break from the porn of, right? Just 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 try to go a night without it, right? And like I said, I've been there. I know what you, if you stuck in a porn, which is a lot of dudes, right? Because we're in a porn epidemic. If you, if, girl or boy, if you, if you, right? Just, just try, just try to go, just, just tonight. Just be like, I ain't going to pick it up tonight. I ain't going to get on and watch these porn stars tonight, right? And just see, wake up. And guess what? You're going to see, oh, shoot. It's actually good for me if I do that. And God is going to be pleased with me, bro. You might be somebody who's waiting to get married. If you got a porn hub open every night, I don't know if God going to give you the proven wife, bro. 
I don't know if he's going to give you the Proverbs 31, bro. Why would he give a Proverbs 31 to somebody who can't stop watching porn, bro? Now, that doesn't mean he might not still do it. But why not just nip the habit in the butt, in the in the butt right now, right? Just, 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 just. I'm telling you, bro. It's like you know. I started realizing a lot of this is like God renewing our mind. But you know, you know what I've realized? Sometimes you gotta just like anything else. Just, just build a habit, bro. Build a new habit. Build a new habit, bro. When I first came to Jesus, I it's like oh, it's like it's like it took it took me a little bit to like like at first I just stopped doing I I think I stopped doing pills like a little bit before I started taking Jesus seriously, but it was like almost over time I just slowly just stopped doing all the drugs I used to do, and it used to be a whole bunch, right? I used to do a whole bunch. And over time, I just stopped, bro. And God was helping me renew my, my mind and replacing it with good habits, bro. Now, I don't even want, like, why would I do a drug? All it does is damage me and mess with my mind and take me off the trajectory that God wants me to be on, right? And take me off the trajectory that is successful. The biggest lie anyone could tell you is that Doing what the devil wants you to do is better. It, it, it's going to help you be more successful. And it don't matter if you might get more money for making a porn video or, or making a money about sex, money, and drugs. Money ain't success, bro. And that, like I said, we don't got to talk about that right now. Because we're going to go to bed, right? Pray for me. I'm telling you, y'all need to pray for me, bro. God is God got me as a frontline soldier for the kingdom. You have to. I'm not. I highly recommend you pray for me, bro. I'm not gonna say you have to, but I highly recommend you do it for your own good, bro. Cause God has no favorites. He hears your prayers just like he hears mine, bro. God's hand will move. Through some of y'all praying, bro. Yeah, bro. You know how many things God has moved on behalf of my prayers, bro? Things I don't even understand right now, but there's so many ways God's moving because of what I've been praying, bro. And the Bible says a righteous man prayer produces wonderful results and they compared it to Elijah how when he prayed for rain to stop for three years it did and then as soon as he prayed for the rain to come back it said <laughs> and it looked like it was about to be a flood or something right that's how much rain came right now I'm exaggerating it didn't look like it was going